Hello everyone and thanks for watching this Vendasta webinar. Today we'll be discussing automated advertising by Cognitive, one of our new products in the Vendasta marketplace. Automated advertising is a fully automated traffic acquisition platform. It automatically creates ads and sends traffic direct to your website. My name is Cam. I am a product marketing manager here at Vendasta and joining me today is Mustafa Mahmoud. CEO of Cognitive. Hi, Mustafa. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How about you, Cam? I'm great. Thank you for joining me today in this webinar. Um, I can't wait to hear you talk about your product and the wonderful um, benefits and features that you have. So let's get started. All right. Awesome. So it's a pleasure to be here. Um, thank you for having us um, on the webinar. And we're looking forward to introduce all the awesome uh, Vindasta resellers to um, our amazing product. Uh, when people ask us about the pitch line or the you know elevator pitch for what we do, we just say we're a cross cross platform AI powered, fully automated traffic acquisition engine. That's a very long you know elevator pitch, but uh, <laughs> I hope it gives people the idea of what we do. And basically, the reason that we started building our product in the first place is and year over year, the Martech slide which showed how many marketing vendors in the in the world grew from 150 vendors in 2011 to around 7,000 vendors in uh, 2019. So in eight years, it grew from 150 to, to, to 7,000 people, uh, 7,000 companies. So basically, if you're trying to do traffic acquisition today, well, there's so many options in front of you and it's impossible to actually cover all of them. So you can go for a uh, search on uh, Google, Bing, Baidu, Yandex, uh, you know, uh, Quora. You can go on for social on Facebook, Pinterest, Snapchat, Instagram. If you're doing display, there are tons of options. If you're doing mobile, there are tons of video, the same, and so on and so forth. So for a marketer today that's trying to do traffic acquisition, there are so many channels and it's impossible to master them all. So people gravitate towards just doing it on Google and Facebook. Now, the only people who benefit from this are Google and Facebook because everybody's bidding against the same inventory. So the CPCs um, goes up and pay more to get the same traffic and the optimization gets you know, a bit more difficult. And it's, it's, it's a big mess when it comes to traffic acquisition in 2019. So what we said is, can we build an engine that fully automates everything that a human marketeer uh, would do to acquire traffic and then scale it or integrate it with all the existing channels in the world? So to give you like one sort of, uh, one button to rule them all. So you have just one button which you can push and that button will acquire traffic for you from all the world's sources, whether it's Google, Amazon, Bing, Yahoo, Yandex, Baidu, uh, Pinterest, Quora, Instagram, Facebook, all the top traffic sources under one, um, under one platform. And that's basically what we started to build. And that's what we have today on the Vendasta marketplace after five years of building and selling this across the world. So we say that we provide you know, high quality website traffic using only one push of a button. And we, we wanted the process to be like you know, a few seconds where all you need to do is just add the URL where you want to, which you want to acquire traffic to, which usually your website or your client's website. Uh, you obviously need to select the country or the zip code or the state or the city where you want to get the traffic from. And you just choose your budget, how much you want to pay per month. And that's all you need to do. You push the button and you start getting traffic. It should be as simple as that. Um, now, to make it this simple is actually a very complex endeavor. And uh, it took us years to figure this out. But basically what we had to do is to fully automate the marketing stack. So if you look at marketing today or how people acquire traffic, there are five main components to that stack. First stack is which channel are you gonna use to acquire traffic? So are you gonna acquire traffic from search? Uh, if you're doing search, then you have, well, the usual suspects, you know, Google, Bing, uh, maybe Amazon, um, Yahoo, Gemini, and so on. Um, if you're doing social, as I mentioned before, you can go to Facebook, Instagram, um, Pinterest, and so on. And that, that is usually the first step. Which channel do I acquire traffic from? But then once you figure that out, the second question is, how do I target people on, those, on that channel? So if you're doing search marketing, uh, well, you basically have to come up with a list of keywords. You have to come up with, you know, negative keywords. You have to come up with, uh, you know, mat match modifiers. So there's so much that you need to do in order to target people on a search platform using keywords. If you're doing social, 
um, you're using a social channel, you have to figure out the demographics, the age groups, uh, the affinities, the interests, and so on and so forth. And that's the second step. Third step is, well, how do I show my ads on that channel? So if I'm using a search channel to acquire traffic, I need to come up with text, you know, ads, text ads. These are the creatives. If I'm doing it on social, I need to have some images with some text, maybe some video. If I'm doing it on uh, a display channel, I just need some banners. If I'm doing it on a video platform such as YouTube or whatever, I need to have a short video showing my uh, product or service. So creative generation is the third part of the, of the process. And then the fourth step is how do I pay for that inventory? Is it, uh, do I pay on a CPM, a cost per impression basis? Is it cost per click? Is it cost per lead? Is it cost per view? Is it cost per true view? So each and every one of the different marketing channels has a different way to you know, uh, sell their inventory. And then the last, but definitely not least, uh, step is optimization, which is maybe, I think, 80% of the work is once your campaigns are up and running, how do you constantly optimize those campaigns to make sure that you're getting the best quality traffic for the you know, least amount of money. So you have to constantly be, constantly be optimizing um, you know, your campaigns. You have to have your pixels implemented properly across the website. You have to monitor which keywords are generating your leads or conversions or sales, which audiences are giving you the highest ROI. Uh, is your retargeting set up properly? There's so many things that you need to do once the campaign goes live. Now this is definitely, if you look at this entire stack, that's a full-time job, even if you're only using one channel. So imagine if you're just trying to do this across Google, Facebook, you know, Yahoo, Instagram, it, it, it's a nightmare. It's impossible to replicate this process across even three or four channels, let alone 100 or 200 channels. So what we said is we can automate that entire stack using uh, artificial intelligence, using AI. And that basically became the value proposition that we offer our clients. So we handle everything. When you give us your URL, what we basically do is we will crawl the website, we extract content from the website that you've given us. So we extract images, we extract the text, we look at the links, inbound links, outbound links, we look at the SEO information of that URL. We even look at your competitors. We look at where your competitors are running ads. Um, so we, we gather around 100 data points from any single, from any URL that a customer gives us. And we ingest all that data and we dump it into our algorithm. And basically what our algorithm will do is it's then gonna tell us, all right, so for this URL, I recommend running ads on uh, Google, Bing, uh, you know, Yahoo, Quora, Reddit, and uh, Facebook and Twitter, for example. And it's then gonna figure out how to do targeting for customers um, relevant to your website on each one of those channels. So if it's doing Twitter campaigns, it's gonna figure out which hashtags to target. If it's doing it on Google, it's gonna figure out which keywords to target, if it's doing it on Facebook, it's gonna figure out which audiences to target and so on and so forth. It is then able to generate creatives using the images and text that exist on your website. And this is, people think that this is you know, very cool and they're a bit worried about what do those creatives look like. And it's actually a very mature technology today. Even Google offers this as a responsive display ad uh, you know, format that exists in its, uh, in its AdWords editor where you can just plug in any URL and it's just gonna pull out a bunch of images and text and assemble different banners using that, uh, using the content on that URL. So it's actually not that complicated. And because you can generate multiple options, the AI can very quickly figure out uh, what are the best ads uh, assembled out of the content on your website. However, some people prefer to use their own ads if they have already designed or generated them. And for those customers, we allow them to manually uh, provide or upload their own ads. And that's why we have this little star over here. And the fourth uh, part of the process, which we automate is the bidding. So we handle the bidding or the payment of, you know, how do we buy the inventory across different channels? And we only charge our customers, the Vendasta resellers on a CPC basis. So you only play, a, you pay a flat CPC and we take care of what every channel wants. So if it's CPM, CPC, CPL, that's, that's our problem. You only pay a flat um, CPC and I'm gonna talk more about pricing uh, at a later slide. And then the last part of the process, which is probably our crown jewel, which is optimization, uh, we integrate into your Google Analytics, which allows us to see the quality of each and every visit that we send to the website. And based on that qu quality metrics, which is session duration, bounce rate, pages per session, conversions or goal completions, 
we make decisions on um, is that good quality traffic? Is it bad quality traffic? If it's good, let's get more of it. If it's bad, let's you know uh, shut it down and stop spending money on that channel or, or on that campaign. And this optimization process is running 24 by seven every day, every, you know, every second of the day. It doesn't take vacations. It doesn't go on cigarette breaks. It's running for you um, all the time, ensuring that you're getting the highest quality traffic um, possible. So that's basically how the engine runs. We go through a testing phase after the campaign first uh, goes live. In that phase, we try to gather, we send some test traffic and that test traffic is like free. Basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to calibrate the engine to the best possible combination of channels and targeting and creatives and so on. And that maybe lasts around 24 hours. After that testing phase, the engine is fully calibrated and then we start the delivery phase. And throughout that delivery phase, we start charging you only on a, uh, on a cost per click basis. Now, when people ask us, what kind of traffic do you acquire for us? Well, it's up to you to decide. We, we offer our customers two options when it comes to the type of traffic they want to acquire. So we tell them, are you looking for awareness traffic or are you looking for conversions traffic? And you know, it's basically top of the funnel or bottom of the funnel. Are you looking to generate awareness? Is it a new website? You want people to come to your you know, website with large quantities to show them your product or your service, or you're very focused on getting sales and conversions uh, from the traffic that you're getting. Now it's up to you to decide what kind of campaign you want to campaign objective you want to run and this this objective actually exists on every single marketing channel out there so even if you go to facebook it's going to ask you are you looking for awareness traffic or conversion traffic google is the same and so on the only thing that differs is do you already have uh, large amounts of people coming to your website uh, and historical data or you're starting out and this is a brand new website if it's brand new it's very hard to just focus on conversions because customers don't wake up and go to buy on a, on a brand new website they've never seen before. There's a customer journey and that journey, the customer first needs to be aware of the website. And then, you know, they probably leave, they read uh, about your competitors and then they come back and then, you know, they check prices on other websites and then they come back and then they buy. And that's usually the customer journey. So to move the customer down that funnel, you really have to have a way to get people to the top of the funnel and then focus on converting them to the bottom. So, Customers are free to choose whichever objective they want, and they can actually run two campaigns in parallel. It's up to them, no problem. But I just wanted to explain what's the difference between you know, awareness and conversion objectives. Uh, this is a sample of a campaign that we're, we ran for one of our customers recently. They had, a, you know, they had a bigger budget, so we were able to run their campaigns across many different platforms. So the engine or the AI took the URL from that customer and the customer said, this is my target location and this is my budget. And then the AI assembled this funnel uh, for them. So it created campaigns on Taboola, Google, Pinterest, Yahoo, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Facebook, Quora. Um, and it classified those as awareness campaigns because that's top of the funnel traffic. When I say Google, I mean the Google display network. And then it created consideration campaigns on Google search, Twitter, Bing, Adform, Amazon, and then it created conversion level campaigns on Critio, AdRoll, and Google retargeting. Now, all this is invisible to the customer. The customer doesn't know and frankly doesn't care about where we're running the, the campaigns because the objective of the AI is to tap into whatever channels that exist out there in order to bring the highest quality traffic um, for that website. Now, in order for this magic to be possible, we need some help uh, or the AI needs some help. And uh, that comes in the form of integrations. So because the AI is, does auto-optimization, it needs access to Google Analytics. Now, mo most websites that we run campaigns for have Google Analytics installed. Google Analytics or GA is an incredible way for the engine to auto-optimize because it can see each and every visit that comes to your website in real time and make decisions based on the quality of that visit. Um, so if you have GA, which I hope you do, and if you don't, you probably should have it. Uh, we need you to link GA or integrate GA to our engine. And there's a very you know, simple link uh, when you're uh, creating your order on the Vendasta mar marketplace, where you can just click on and link your Google Analytics property to your campaign. So that's the first integration that we need. The second integration that we need is uh, if you have a Facebook page, because Facebook is very strict when it comes to 
people advertising on behalf of other brands like Google and a lot of the other channels, they don't care. You can, run a, you, you can run a campaign for any website in the world, but Facebook forces you to have a page associated to the campaigns that you create. So in that, in that case, we ask for your permission to run ads on behalf of your uh, brand on Facebook. You don't pay Facebook anything. You just give us access to the page to allow us to create ads on your behalf, but the billing and ad creation and optimization and everything else that I mentioned earlier is fully handled by, by the engine uh, and by our platform. So these are the two integrations that we recommend customers go through. Um, some customers don't have GA and they don't have Facebook. That's okay. If you don't have GA, then it's not going to be easy for us to uh, optimize post click or post visit. We're, we're going to be relying on metrics that don't need GA, such as CTR and, you know, dwell time and, and stuff like that. Uh, but if you have GA, it just makes our job and your life much easier and guarantees much higher quality for, uh, for you and your customers. Now, how does the product look like on the Vendasta marketplace? So the product is called automated advertising and it's free. And when, when we say it's free, it means we don't charge our customers uh, any price or any cost for the actual software, the software that does the automation of the, of the um, traffic acquisition. We provide that free of cost for customers, but we only charge them for the advertising budget that they want to spend. And basically our margin is, is baked into that budget. So it's like AdWords, you pay Google uh, a CPC or a cost per click and Google makes a margin on each click. That's exactly the same model um, that we follow. So once you activate the core product for free, you then have to choose how much do you want to spend on your advertising per month. And you have to enable the, the, the mandatory product is the automated advertising campaign for $200 a month. That's the minimum ad spend that our engine will uh, accept per month. Basically, honestly, anything less than 200, the, the engine is not gonna be able to deliver any results. So we make that the minimum. However, if you wanna run a campaign for, I don't know, $1,000, that's okay. You can just purchase the additional spend package of $100 as many times as you want. You can buy it for 10 times, you can buy it for 20 times. Um, it's up to you. So you can, you can make your budget as much as you want. And that's all you need to do to, um, to act. Uh, now, when, when you place your order, you go through this very simple form. And this is basically the three, four steps that I mentioned in my, uh, you know, earlier in the beginning of the presentation, where we ask you the country where you want to get the traffic from, what URL do you want to direct the traffic to, and the objective, do you want it to be awareness or conversions? And I, you know, explained the difference between both earlier. And we ask you also for what kind of device do you want traffic from? Because some websites, unfortunately, are not responsive and they don't do well on mobile devices. So we ask you to tell us, do you want traffic from mobile or not? Most customers, they just choose both because their websites are, are responsive. And then we tell you what's the maximum cost per click you're willing to pay. Now this helps us to control the bidding on each of the different channels that we run. So if you're, if you're spending $200 and your maximum CPC is $1, so you should estimate around 200 clicks a month. Now, obviously you cannot set the CPC too low because if you set it too low, then um, we're not gonna be able to win any bids on any of the channels. So if you set your bid for 10 cents, there's literally, literally no keywords on Google which you can win for 10 cents. So you're just not, not gonna get any traffic. So you know your, your campaigns are not gonna be delivering any visits to your website. So we provide a guide, a CPC guide, for you, which is available on the um, uh, on our product page. And we tell you based on the vertical that your website exists in, is it real estate, is it finance, is it technology, is it you know commerce? Uh, we tell you what are the ranges. So we say, okay, if you're in this vertical, then the range is between $2 and $4 per click. So try to select something in the middle and it's up to you to choose whatever CPC um, you want, but make sure that you select something that is within the ranges we recommend because then we'll be able to ensure that we can actually succeed in acquiring traffic um, for, your, uh, for your website. But whatever you choose, that is the maximum CPC and the engine is prohibited from going above that bid or above the maximum limit uh, when it comes to uh, acquiring traffic for you. All the traffic that we send to your website, if you have Google Analytics, and this is a screenshot from uh, you know, the GA dashboard, all our traffic is gonna be tagged with a UTM source of feed traffic. Uh, v stands for Vendasta. 
So if you're sending traffic to any customer's website or any of your you know, uh, customers, you can see the traffic that we're sending under this UTM source, it's called vTraffic. And in this example, you can see, you know, we sent 1,298 visits. Um, the bounce rate was around 42%, which is very good. It was 10 pages per second for each visit, the average, which is amazing, around uh, two and a half minutes uh, session duration and 13% uh, conversion rate, which is, you know, these statistics are really good for anyone who's, who's done this before. They, they know how good this is. So you can see all the traffic in your Google Analytics and you can, you know, obviously if you have the GA app on your phone, you can actually see this in real time or you can just log into the GA dashboard anytime you want to see how much traffic has been delivered um, to your website and you can filter on date, location, device or whatever you want right from the GA um, dashboard. And everybody trusts GA as a single source of truth when it comes to their uh, traffic acquisition activity. So we decided to just focus on that and not confuse customers by trying to provide them a third party dashboard, but rather rely on GA and just tag our traffic with a unique marker, which is uh, vTraffic, all right? So just some key concepts that I wanted to highlight before we end the presentation. We don't take any management fee from your media spend. So you don't pay us a percentage of your advertising budget um, as a fee for us, it's, it's completely zero. We don't take anything. There is no cost for the software. The software is free. You only pay for the actual budget that you're going to advertise for, and our margin is baked into that budget. Um, you only pay for the clicks you receive. So even if you pay $200 per campaign and your bid is too low, you don't get any traffic. You don't, you know, you know, you're not charged anything. That that money just sits in your balance. So you you actually have to start getting clicks and visits. Uh, for that budget to be consumed. So you only pay for the traffic that you receive. It's fully automated. There is no manual intervention needed from your side besides filling that form when the campaign starts and doing the GA and Facebook integrations, there's literally nothing that you have to do. So this entire process can take you maybe a few minutes and then you're on your way, you can just go and uh, you know uh, focus on talking to your customers and providing great service and leave all the heavy lifting and campaign execution, delivery and optimization. So our software, it can scale to thousands of customers because since there's no you know, human labor involved from our side or from your side, really, uh, you can just focus on selling this to as many customers as you want while being confident that you're gonna have a, a very powerful platform that's gonna be able to deliver uh, great results to you and to your customers, ensuring that they continue to scale up their budgets and spend more um, with you. Uh, the optimization part is really one of the best you know, features of our engine. Uh, AI-based optimization ensures that whether you get traffic in the morning, in the evening, and you know, on the weekends, the engine is always looking at the quality of the traffic and making decisions, maybe to get more of that traffic, to increase the bids, to you know, stop getting that traffic. So the optimization is taking care of your quality uh, and the quality of the visits that you're getting. And that's happening around the clock, which is really, really uh, a, a huge important piece of digital marketing and everybody knows them. And we obviously have a great support team. Um, we have an email that I think um, Cam is gonna share in a second and we're available wherever you have any questions or you run into any troubles and you need any support for any of your customers, you can just shoot us an email and our turnaround time uh, is less than 24 hours. So you're always gonna hear from us. If it's during a weekday, it's gonna be you know within an hour or two. If it's during a weekend, it's gonna take maybe 24 hours to get a response but our support team is always gonna be there to support you whenever, um, whenever you need it. And that's basically it. All right. So um, because this is a recorded webinar, we will be taking questions by email. So if you have any questions at all, um, you can email partners at cognitive.com or marketplace at vindasta.com. Well, uh, thank you so much, uh, Mustafa, for joining us. Um, for this webinar and for taking us through automated advertising. So thank you so much for taking the time. No problem, my pleasure, Cam. And I hope this provides value to the Vendasta customers and all the customers that they serve. Thank you so much for your time. All right, and to all the viewers, thanks for watching. Have a good one.